guys, this is Alex from 4C Training, and today we're back at USDT Contracts and Matic. Um, so yeah, I'm recording this as BTC, or should I say more like Ethereum, is going quite crazy. It pumped all the way up to 430 right now, so yeah, Ethereum is making that good progress. I guess it's not done yet. The, uh, the network of Ethereum has been uh, really full lately. It's it's like the, the fees, you know, the transferring fees are absolutely ridiculous, so I guess... Uh, people are still quite bullish on Ethereum, right? It definitely helps its price. And for Matic right here, um, we already called this trade out in the channel. Uh, we are going to be filling it right here because due to the bigger time frames, observing bigger time frames right here, right? We finally make, uh, we finally broke kind of a long term resistance area on this one. And yes, we didn't get a daily con uh, daily closure above it. But you know, with these coins, you usually have to move real fast for you to get them, right? Uh, because they can escape without you, you know, they just give you a retest on a smaller time frame and then they just, you know, basically can't escape without you and you're left out without a trade. So here I am, I'm going to pull uh, a trade on kind of early stages. Now, if I happen to get stopped on this trade and it goes up again, and then I'll just wait for a high time frame to confirm and take it another time. I mean, take it again because, you know, essentially speaking, this trade is a really good one, right? Really good one. And it usually plays out. The trades like this are quite common to play out. So definitely want to be a part of it. So our buying area, as it shows, uh, I'm going to put it just a little bit lower. That's like here. The buying area is right here. The stop loss will be located down under this uh, right here. And the first profit target here, like again, in this case, I always sort of say, you know, we don't know if it's going to break out and we want to see a continuation. But at this time, I'm actually going to risk it and I'm going to say that it's going to break out. Uh, because I don't, don't really want to take a profit target so soon, you know. It's not going to leave us a lot of meat on the table. Uh, so I will exactly go for a little bit of a shocker. I will go for a high profit target right up here. And for the first one. But I will play this a little bit differently around here because I will uh, observe the structure of how it's going to be forming around the coin and I will follow it with my stop loss, right? I won't be just uh, leaving the trade here and, you know, waiting for it for it to hit the profit target or either hit my stop loss. No, no, no. I will be actually be following uh, the whole structure with my stop loss uh, as the structure moves out, as it forms, obviously, right? And then we will see, I will be using a safe technique. It's not going to be uh, like, you know, trailing stop loss or anything like that. No, I will be waiting for price action to form and then put a stop loss underneath it. I'm not going to be doing anything uh, else, right? So the first profit target is going to be relatively high, right? So because we can afford that, if you're going to use a strategy like this, it's going to be the last possible resistance. And then after this, right, we can take another profit target right up here. Uh, and this is basically where our pro uh, chart ends, you know. And then for the third profit target, again, I'm going to do the quite same thing. I'm not going to place a third profit target. I'm just going to follow the coin with the stop loss all the way up to the highs. And as it forms structure, I will just be putting stop loss underneath them until it finally stops me out, right? And then I'm going to hope that that would be the actual reversal. If I did a process right, I would, uh, where I get stopped, it would actually have to be a reversal, right? So, uh, and then obviously I do think Matic can be short as well. So yes, uh, for anyone out there, yes, it is possible to short it as well. So you could um, turn the tables and play it uh, on the same kind of thing uh reversal and you know make some more profits of it right so yeah i do think this trade is a pretty good one um that is basically my plan how i'm going to indulge into it and hopefully it plays out right like uh, most of the trades did lately so yeah thank you for watching guys don't forget to subscribe and like the video and follow us uh, for the next one right and see you next see you on the next one